as a freshman civil engineer, the project that we had to do was decide, well, we had two options. One of which was you could do a failure project, which is you choose uh, any type of engineering failure that's happened in the past and you do research on it. And there's another option where you build a bridge, a scaled down model of a bridge. And uh, I, my group chose to go with building the bridge. And uh, some of the requirements you have, you have to make it four feet long, has to be a foot wide, no more than 10 inches tall, and uh, you have to see how, uh, if you can make it hold as much weight as possible, uh, but it has to also weigh the least. Um, some key takeaways from the project that my group and I did uh, definitely was just how to act and conduct yourself as a professional. Uh, always uphold the code of ethics and just really what it means and what your responsibilities are after college when you're actually in the field. Uh, you know, we do all these little projects and it's, you know, funny that the bridges break and everything, but in the real world, you know, you're really going to have to design um, a structure that won't fail and you're going to have to be, you know, positive that it's safe for public use. I think that the students are much more engaged in their career in terms of what is it that I want to do. When they do their analysis in the, in the classroom, they, the results are just numbers and they don't necessarily recognize what those numbers mean. When they actually build it and test it, then they, they can see and, and get an idea of the magnitude of things. Uh, you know, well, is my bridge really going to hold 120 pounds? It, it does connect the numbers to something real.